frag center. Fuck. No. I tried to change my clan tag on UT to shit Norm, but it's one character off. I know. Uh, we, we tried it. I'm in um in the ICTF. I'm in Motorhead, and we have to use MH because you can't fit Motorhead in because it's one character off. Find Puna and that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a twat, you are. Right, let's put my thing onto the there. Oh, tits. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting shortly. I'm going to set my clan type to gay AF fam. Gay AF fam. Gay fam. Gay AF. Gay as fuck, fam. Fucked by a gay man, fam. <laughs> yeah, what hub did you say? Main France, ESL hub, Unreal, Bat Unreal Pugs, Main ah. France, bollocks and shit like that. Alright. I'm gonna join the hub and then wait for games. I believe it is starting in a minute. Yeah, about 30 seconds, mate. Whenever it hits the minute mark, I can refresh the page. There we go. I can now refresh the page and start the game. Right then. Participants. Right, start stream. Right, my streams start. Shuffle. Okay. Shuffled the seeds. Bracket. Start. Uh, B-Hop, are you still there? Oh, yeah. You can chill for a bit. Because your game isn't starting, so... You may as well not start streaming. <laughs> I'm fucking starting it anyway, I don't fucking care. Um, so, round two, I'm against Russia, and then round three, I'm against Pizza. Yeah. Round Robin. So, one match each. Basically, it's the best way I could do it because otherwise, someone is automatically in second place. Yeah. And there is no way, no matter what system I use, there is no way to make it have a lower bracket and bring someone back up without being bullshit. Be a Tommy on the. Pizza's Actually, dropped now. Huh? Pizza's. I'm just discussing what is happening because I can't show Discord. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to organise another one for all. Game start. Well, Don't you can look in the Beginners Cup chat on oh, the shit, newbie I'm boot camp. You can go into that channel and take a look. <laughs> okay. And just you know. You, you could just do that, because, like... <laughs> Babbitt's playing Poba. <laughs> Thank fuck somebody picked any. God damn it. <laughs> I need at least one map played on any, so that I can go, this is good map, please put in, and drop deck. Because nobody likes deck. God damn it. Which 
was the map I played against Ponix on? Echo or Raze? I forgot. ESDF and a Raze. A Raze was first, then ESDF. Uh, ASDF. Or ASDF. No, ASDF was the first map. No, you played ASDF second, trust me. I know, because I was sorting out YouTube videos today. Plus ASDF. No, ASDF was the first map. I'm looking at the map on Google Images right now. That was the first Okay, I guess they're going to get the last map. <laughs> Mine is protracted. Yes. <laughs> Pizza clearly doesn't want protracted. Do you know what my favourite thing about this webcam is? It's got a, so oh. a sticker on it that says HD 720p 30fps. One, bullshit is it 720p by the looks of the quality. Two, bullshit is it 30fps. <laughs> <laughs> You're not picking yet, man. There is actually a map called DM Abortion. <laughs> actually. There is in UT99. I think I saw oh, some. I saw so, last time I played it. Well, no, I've never played it. But last time I played UT ninety nine, I was downloading stuff. Oh yes, clearly sixty FPS. Clearly, it's not like grainy as fuck or anything. Okay, so we've lost. I don't know what the fucking maps are. <laughs> okay, so we are playing any ASDF. You know, well, let's open up a Vim. Any. ASDF Pizza Russian is any ASDF and these guys have got the maps better than me honestly <laughs> these guys know the maps list better than me because I always forget what it is although to be fair they're probably looking at the pinned message that says what it is <sighs> Minus arrays. Are we left with one map then? So we've lost solo protracted. I guess we're left with pure possibly. Okay, so it's pure or Leah, it seems to be. I can't really keep count. Oh yeah, it did drop pure. Okay, so minus echo. Pure. Any. Samp, it's only yes, yeah, someone's dropped Samp. Admin intervention because we're spackers. Uh, Congratulations.
any <laughs> I couldn't keep track. I'm really bad at keeping track of them. And yeah, I might ask if we're allowed to do it on the ESL website at some point. Perhaps. Because that is a really good system. <laughs> ah. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, shit, I played a bot match, didn't I? Unreal Tournament Tournament Tournamentos Tournamentos Have they picked their maps yet? Graham? Yep, any ASDF Leah And um, Russian is hosting apparently Or, well, pizza Pizza isn't hosting <laughs> Which means Russian is hosting I guess no Let's shit. point the camera down a bit more so that you can see my flailing hands. Yes, my flailing hands, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, boys and girls. Today we're going to be playing some Unreal Tournament. The fuck is that voice? That's my alrighty then, boys and girls. Voice. What the fuck is this? What? Some goos come off of one of them clear sticky things. And it's gone blue. That's weird. Um... Dabble -dee, dabble -dee. Dabble -dee. It's been di it's literally a clear um clear sticky tape sort of stuff and a black bit of plastic to hook wires in and some of the stuff's gone blue somehow. In fact I'm gonna look at the bottom the of one. I'm gonna No, there's no blue stuff underneath it. I don't know where it's come from, because I'm thinking maybe there's some blue in it. But no, there's no blue, it's just clear and black. Uh I have spawned outside of the map. Yep. That is Unreal Tournament for you. Uh oh, shit. Wait, is this the map of the uh water glitch? No, that was goose. That wasn't DM. Oh. Let's head over here, and we shall get Unreal Tournamenting. Uh, I will follow Last Fragger. You follow the guy who last died. Alright. It, it would help if I would actually fucking figure out how to fucking do this shit. Well, there'll be a thing on the side uh, with the two names, and you just click on them. Just l until yeah, I somebody... I use my cursor while I'm in the fucking game. Oh, no, you can. Um, you just can't in warm-up. So they have to start it. Oh. Uh, they have to start it. We also can't talk to them. We can talk to each other, but we can't talk to them. Oh, and the HUD doesn't work as well. So they've got no crosshair. When they zoom in with a sniper, it doesn't do anything. It just zooms in. It changes the FOV. It doesn't change the... Uh... I just saw Russian go through health, and the health did not disappear. Oh, oh yeah, this is... I I have decided after today I was watching a duel that went quite high paced at the end and there was a death this is the replay there was a death I picked up an armor then died before it did the sound and the animation for me picking up the armor because it's even worse on the replay the live spectate's not bad. The replay is abysmal, honestly. Like, it's absolutely abysmal. Why did Russian yeah, F pick this map? He I tried can't do the in jumps. the replay system. Because, like, you know, some of the clips I got while you were streaming. Yeah. I tried to get those on the replay editor. I, f I would rather kill myself than use the replay editor in UT4. Honestly. Stream ready, boys? 
start yep. whenever. This will be the only game with B Hop si uh, side casting. Yep. Because he'll be playing the other two. And hopefully we'll be getting into it quite shortly. Hopefully they're made with all the correct armors and stuff. Did you check that they had the right mutators? Uh, no. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't give a shit. Oh. It doesn't so matter too much. It's not the actual game yet, so really who fucking cares? Well, no, it doesn't matter too much either. If they've got it on. I haven't seen much of a difference. And Russian's about to pick up an armour, so... I'll be able to see if it says picked up an armour or picked up uh, an armour where. Please pick up a damn armour. I would trust Russian's actually done it, to be fair. Yes, he has. Yes, he's he got. Did. If he's got armour wear, he'll have got the rest of them. Honestly, because there's no pre-made for armour wear. Unless they did TDM, which they haven't. <laughs> actually, no. They could have done TDM, because TDM's exactly the same as Duel in this game. Nah, it says Duel. Never mind, he's good. He's all good. And he's got he's got all the mutators on. He's a lovely, lovely dear. Lovely job. Done a lovely job. I can see that, they can't see it. Only spectators can see spec messages, we can see their messages. This gives me an idea. Alright. We are setting off, I guess then. I'm wrapped, I'm wrapped up. What? <laughs> oh, there's a slight problem with that, and that's the fact that my camera's over the chat. No! <laughs> Why? Oh, dear, because it's the least important part of it. You had to ruin everything, didn't you? I know. I'm just terrible, aren't I? Just, just terrible. Come on, let's get it started. You are literally Hitler. But like, do you think they thought they'd started? <laughs> I don't know, because Pizza said, how do I ready up? That obviously means he's bloody ready. Alright then. Have fun, everybody, and we will be getting started. Well, welcome to the YouTube viewers who will be here by now. And we are into the game. I'm going to turn on X-Ray and bring up all the timings over at the side. And Pizza has drawn First Blood. Jeez. So I will be watching Pizza and you can watch Russian. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Pizza fucking... needs 10 seconds until the items are up. This is a game where it's quite easy to recover health and less easy to recover armour. I can't fucking get the accuracy shit off. Uh, click again. So the hundreds, all the armors are up. Russian's gone right into another fight, and he's gone down. Spawns below Pizza, but he doesn't know that he can't see the see-through thing. Pizza gets the kill again. I was wrong by saying before the stream I thought Pizza would be able to um, take this because, oh sorry, Russian would be able to take this because Pizza isn't really over. I'll head over to Russian now. And he has taken the frag. So, as he has taken the frag, he should really be going for Baltor 100. Needs now. to be going for the 100. Going for the 100 would make more sense. Timing on the 100 in this mod is Pizza more important. Just got the belt. So, Pizza has the belt. Um, we'll see how this plays out. Russian, much lower health. Needs to be careful. Knows he needs to be careful not moving needs to get out of here because he's about to die he's only got 13 health left can't connect with the shot combos unfortunately belt up in 30 seconds hopefully he isn't going to stick around no he's headed off and headed over to that 100 armor 100 armor will give him some sort of resistance but not too much 
He needs our. Uh, he, he really needs should health. have avoided the fight with the shark and just instantly went for the hundred because he was up for that long. Yeah, he, that's what he should have done. He's now got 150, so he's uh, Pizza has a slightly better stack, but they both have full armor, so neither of them actually needs this. Neither of them can make use... Okay, rush it. They can now both make use of the belt. Pizza, I think, is going to be able to get in there. Rushing on five health just needs to get out of the bloody way. Gets the belt. Five health left. It's not going to save him from a death. Because in this, the belt isn't a 50 extra armor. Or 50 extra health. It's not 100% absorb. Russian trying to sneak under. <laughs> needs to turn around and just get out of there. And Pizza picks up the 100, getting away with it. 30 seconds to the belt, every other armor up. So Russian can sweep around, picking up a bit of armor. Hopefully that's what he'll do. He's not going to go for the uh, 100, hopefully. He should be able to get away from this chase by Pizza. But we shall see. Pizza has the better movement by the looks of things. It's still anybody's game right now, I would say. Russian could come back into it. Russian picking up the belt there. Also, I've already... Pizza should get the hell out of there. See, this is the Beginner's Cup coming what? out. Pizza just being bullshit with a flat cannon, of How course. How Russian not even fucking kill him? That's what I'm confused about. Yeah. It's just Pizza being bullshit with a flat cannon, I guess. So... Daddy. Oh, that is a beautiful oh, sniper shot from great. Russian. And he gets the spawn on Pizza. Manages to do a decent amount of damage, but needs to get out of there because he needs some health. He also needs to pick up some armor, some health, and a couple more weapons, because that sniper is not going to be good at close range. Unless you get a cheeky headshot, I think the Russian will be fucked at, the, at this point. Cheeky headshot? Yeah. The belt's coming up in four seconds, so they both went very early to it. I think they're both doing what, exactly the same thing that I do, which is uh, ten seconds to get around the map seems reasonable. Except it's really not on most of these maps. Or you could be me and just stand on the belt for a fucking minute. Yeah. Come in five seconds after the belt's up. <laughs> and then stand there until you die 30 seconds later in a fight. You survived yeah. a pretty fair time, to be honest. Russians heard pizza and now sees him. Tries to connect with the shot combo, but doesn't get the core in the right place. Trying to bait him out. Pizza knows he's got the advantage and just needs to get the armor. Manages to get that 100 very cleanly. Gets away from a shot. It's quite clear both these guys don't particularly know the maps amazingly well. As we saw with that prediction from Russian. That's not where anybody can come out. To be honest, I'm glad he's played this map at all, because I think it's a really good map. There we go, Russia with the armor. Both on even stacks now, but I think Russian really needs to get a rocket launcher right now. Russian is behind pizza in stack, purely because, despite the fact that he has more health, he doesn't have the uh, weapons until then. Now he's ahead in stack, if he can pull out with yeah, this... Yeah. He can definitely get away, but Pizza manages to pull away, and you can see Pizza already, at about six minutes in, starting to go for the defensive plays, the extremely defensive plays. This is the sort of stuff you wouldn't this notice. Now, if Pizza picks up this 100, that's very good for him, but I'm not sure if he will do. Just gone underneath. You can hear them for certain. Picks up that rocket launcher. I think he's going for belt now. Very nice dink. <coughs> sneezy, sneezy. Belt is up. As you can see on that wall just behind the belt, there is a marker that shows you when belt is up and when it's not up. So, oh, that's a beautiful frag. That was good. That was good play. 
going in when Brush and, uh, when Pizza had the wrong weapon out. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. So far, he's not been able to catch the frags up quick enough. He just really needs to chase as hard as he can. But anyway, that's also on Solo, that little marker. Using the wrong weapon against a, sh against a spammy weapon like this. I actually never knew Link could actually do that. Yeah, Link gun and secondary um, machine gun. Secondary machine gun. Or stinger. Yeah, it's a minigun. Stinger. Stinger minigun, yeah. 100 up now, Russian. Check behind you. He's got it. He heard it and goes to it. Clearly not quite having the time on it. 50 is up, belt isn't there, and Russian takes a massive flak ball to the face. Well, not a flak ball, a flak primary, but still quite a lot of damage, taking most of that uh, away, and just pops around the corner for a beautiful shredded. Really the flak cannon right now, cannon. pulling shit. Oh! oh! Pizza oh, blowing Russian's core up on him. Uh, that's got to tilt you. That's a tilt and a half right now. So we'll see what happens if Russian can do this. By the way, just to tell any British people out there, clocks go back tonight, right? I have no fucking clue. No, they do. Uh, I'm telling you, yes, they do. I really shat myself when I heard that they were going back this weekend because I thought, have I, do they go back on a Saturday? Uh, like Friday to Saturday because then the timings for this tournament are fucked. So I ended up just telling everybody to look on the challenge page. Picking up the belt there for pizza. Very nice belt Get pickup. The yep, getting the hell out of there because he's got a two lead advantage with about a minute and 15 left to go. Hey Choco, I how think you doing? Pizza could actually do this as long as he like, avoids every single fight. Well, it's a good map to do that on, honestly. There's a lot of... There's not a lot of health on this map. There is a lot of health vials. So no no 25 health. Not a lot of those. There's only four or five of them. And He's they're sort of scattered Don't around. Peek Don't peek. You've got 50 seconds to not die. So all you've got to do for 50 seconds is run away and not die. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of vials, but not a lot of 25s. Russian going for the chase, seeing if he can pick up this frag. If he can pick up this frag, he's got a chance. But whoever picks up this, I think that's GG. Three no, frags in 30 seconds. That, that's Possible. That has to be GG. Possible, but on this map, I think it's just too difficult to defend against. That being said, I did do Pizza three frags in one minute. Right I did do three frags in one minute on my last game here. So... Don't think it's doable right now with 30 seconds left and the way these guys are playing. Oh, their movement around the map is good, but it's not smooth. That was a nice little shock from Pizza. And one second left. He's typing GG. And there you go. First game of the tournament. Pizza takes it. Five to eight. I thought you said Rush was going to be my toughest opponent, Crab. Well, I didn't really know... To be fair, that's her hell of a ping right there. And he managed to pull it back that. quite well in the end. Uh, Pizza lives basically right next to where this server is hosted. Oh. I, so I, I the next say, map is Astaf. That you got on Russians by using Russians of uh, shock ball. That was amazing. That was pure luck. Gotta be pure luck. So we've happened to me before. I went fucking full tilt. Oh yeah, it's terrible. It happens to you. We'll see what happens now. Over on ASDF. But since this one is Pizza's map, I would expect Pizza to play better. But I've seen a lot more crazy things happen in beginners. I hope we go to a third map, because I quite like Leah. It is a good map. It is one of the only maps that is properly textured in this game that I think could stay how it looks. I like the look of it. I hate the look of a lot of the other maps. This map, I think it could stay this way. I'd love the textures just to stay this way and be cartoony. Mm. The only problem is the sniper rifle's done in this manner, and it looks like plastic. Yeah. 
but we're getting into the second map right here. ASDF Pizza versus Russian. And Russian getting a pretty good spawn. Gets a nice shot combo right there. Pizza down to 11 health. He is not going to be able to contest for this first 100. Unless Russian... What? Um, lag. Lol. Russian has got a new mouse uh, very recently. So we'll see. With Pizza having a shot combo. And he gets the headshot. What a beautiful play right there. That's some non-beginners play right there. However, I'd kind of admit that Pizza probably still beginner. <laughs> it's de that was definitely a very good tactic to pull off right there. That's an amazing choice of way to play. He has heard Russian up at the top. Does manage to pick up the armor. 100 up. Russian should get it. Both 150 stack. Russian slightly over stack. Now we'll see what Pizza can do. He's got a 1-0 lead and we know he likes to play defensively. As he showed in the previous map, he's not an attacking player. Neither of these guys particularly attacking. I think that probably comes from the fact that the way that you have to play when you're this bad against people who are good, you just kind of got to play slow and methodically. Yep. That happens all the time. That's the first time I've ever fucking seen that happen in this game. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. It's not actually, because I did it against you on a, um, on a raise. Wait, have you? Yes. That, that time I rage quit. And the 150's up. Pizza takes it, takes a... Russian takes it, sorry, and takes a huge amount of damage. Now we're in a shock primary war. Pizza out of shock, but does 47 damage. He's going to have to head off. Russian on three health. The armor ain't going to save him. Literally anything will kill him right now. But I think he's going to get out of there alive. Pizza needs to get the next 100, which is up right now. If Pizza can take this kill, I think he can take... Quite a hell of a lead. Not quite sure. I don't think he's going to be able to take it. He does manage to grab it. Just about. Oh, that was crazy. But Russian knows where the armors are. Pizza heads over to the 50. Very cleverly not heading over to the 100. Which doesn't have any health. Now he knows Russian. He's seen Russian go up the back. He plays a beautiful combo. On to 10 health for Russian. Auto cam was still on for me. Whoops. Oh, Russian on 10 health and a very beautiful little flick across with that link cannon. Get, get the prediction? No. No, he doesn't quite connect with that prediction, but he is waiting up on the belt. He does manage to pick up the belt, Russian. Russian with the highest stack, but he doesn't have the weapons to go into this fight, and I fear by the time that he does have the weapon... Oh, beautiful prediction, Rocket! What are the plays we are seeing right here from these two guys? Now, Pizza should have gone for those um, for those healths there. He didn't because that is one of the main deaths on this map. Where you go there for the health and somebody puts a couple of rockets. But the position that Russian was in, he wouldn't have been able to put it in there. There's too much of a blockade between them. However, there is a chance he was just not risking it. Of course, because you never know how much health your opponent's got. Did I put armor overlay on this? I don't think I did. Armor. Yeah, it makes the armor overlay better. So instead of just being, they are full glow from one one armor to one hundred armor. I uh, don't know. I didn't, by the way. I know I didn't because I've just seen Russian with full armor. Pizza, probably gonna get the flak now. Don't think flak. he's gonna quite be able to connect with all of these. Russian has more health, but less armor. Overall, it's pretty even stacks currently. We'll see what's going to happen. I think pizza has been playing too much CPM because that LG was too far away. He has every single weapon in the game though. But not enough health to deal with anything. Russian, massively higher stacked after a good fight previously. Gets that 100, he's massively overstacked. That's never going to connect with the ground. But that's a beautiful primary coming out there from pizza. 
runs out of shock, goes over to the sniper, misses. Now he's going to try and head over to whatever weapon he can pick up. The shock on this map is in a bad position, but if you can get it once, you can keep it for the rest of the game. Gets it on the line, Lucky. takes more damage than he needed, but that shot combo is going to make it all worth it. That oh. shot combo, however, isn't going to make any of it worth it. And we'll see who gets this next 100. Pizza needs health. You know he needs health. He knows there's a target pointed on that 100 right now. He needs to just go when Russian isn't looking. He needs to go now or never. He's on too low health to go in at all right now. Why did he stick the hell around? And Russian takes the first frag on the board. Finally. This is what happened on the previous map. The weird thing about these maps is they're very small, very open, uh, same with Solo, very small, quite open, and yet the frags are quite low. You're just seeing one to three in a fairly even game. What is a fairly even game? But me on dead on side, which people who are quote unquote massive, you see tons of frags. Which is quite weird. Yeah. It's like a raise. Tons of frags on that map. Maps usually end 25 something or other. 25 frags. These ones. Mm, the highest I think I've gone is uh, 7. Game, only got two frags. 17. I think I lost seven by 17 frags is the worst I've done on this map. Uh, that's the most frags I've seen on this map. In a proper like kind of close game. The most 8-8 eight, eight ish. Sort of around that mark. Seven six, seven eight, or ish. Can't remember. Oh, the timing. The timing to turn around there from Russian was very, very unlucky. And now, oh, that is a terrible spawn. But that's the worst weapon choice you could have made. And a beautiful slide to get out of it there, actually, from Russian. I think Pizza trying to rely on the wrong weapon here. He needs to get in with some spammy sort of weapon, something like a. Sh uh, uh, I'm tired. Something like a rocket. Some some LG, something like that, and he does pull off the rocket kill, get the 100, and get out of there. This is another map where all of the items are traps. Pizza well overstacked. Russian takes a good amount of damage and starts spamming, landing perfectly there for Pizza just after the spam ended, getting a nice little hit off. Russian two shocks left before death, or two snipes, sorry, picks up the health, Doing half well for himself. Pizza knows where he's gone. And he doubles back on himself. Gets a beautiful rocket. Gets hit by the shock. Oh. Russian on a massively better stack after a few. He needs to just spam. He's picked the perfect weapon. But is he going to be able to connect with any? Hopefully he will be able to get something in. He, and that new mouse Pizza picks up. Yep, the new mouse from Russian. Doing a good one. Pizza dives down. Low tries to again. avoid... Very low health. 10 seconds till the belt. 100 is up. Russian takes the 100, keeping it from Pizza. I don't know if Russian's got enough time to pull this back right now. Four frags the difference. Russian coming into his own at the end of the game, unfortunately, when he's already way behind. But I think that may just be the fact that Russian uh, Pizza sorry, is giving up most of these items in favour of staying alive. It's quite a sensible tactic, but you can't give everything up because otherwise you're just going to end up with no health, no armor, and uh, a bearing Russian down on your back with a rocket launcher. It's like Stink when he first played Doombringer. He avoided every single fucking ammo. Oh, yeah, that's because he didn't know that you had to get ammo. Russian on two health, but so much armor. Is Pizza going to be able to finish him off? I think he will be able to. One health left. Can Russian actually get this kill? I think he might be able to. He has two health left. Nothing can save him. No, mu no matter how much armor he can pick up, no amount of armor is going to save him. He's just going to get picked up, and he gets picked off. That is definitely GG. 100%. Pizza, 2-0. It's definitely GG because you can uh, spawn delay for five seconds. So, pizza can spawn delay everything. 
one. You're a second out. GG. That's yeah, you, two nil yeah, to Discord pizza. Of about a second. Yeah. They can't see. All right. right. Screen is going to go black for a second whilst I report the scores. Pizza two. Submit. Okay. B hop versus the Russian. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the Discord call. I'll see you in a bit then, Crab, while I play these games. All right. Uh, should I bring you in after the games are finished sure. to talk to you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See ya. Alrighty then, let's see. B Hop versus the Russian, we have now. So what is going to be picked? B hop drops ASDF. Russian drops Echo. You know what? I'm gonna copy the maps so that I can cut them out. Let's open up a notepad. So open up text editor. <laughs> so ASDF Echo protracted protracted isn't picked. A raise has been picked. Zero, I guess. Lear is picked. Thank you, Russian. You are picking my favourite maps here, Russian. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. I'm keeping track of the uh, results as they come in this time. Solo. Semp. Coma. Drops. These are. These are dropped. So currently we're playing a raise, then Leah, and then either protracted, pure, or any. Minus protracted. Cool. Pure or any will be our last map. Drop pure, pick any. 
Cool. Okay then. Let's get back in the game. Boo! All right, so we're going to see a game created. And hopefully it will be a pretty good matchup between these two. Not too sure. But whatever. I'm going to hop in and piss a boot for a bit. Making sure he's got the right mean. Yeah, beautiful textures, man. I mean, look at these. Look at these textures right here. Gigi, he got the wrong texture. Uh, not textures. The wrong mutators. He got 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 the wrong mutators. <laughs> ah, you got public do no, what a dick. What a idiot. What a idiot. Alright, so we'll wait for a custom door to come in. And we shall see what comes of it all. Yeah, the textures are, of course, the best. Of course, the Linux textures. Missing textures, of course, they are. They are the best textures. Quite clearly. On every map. Pretty much every map has missing textures, except for the default maps, which just run like arse. It's great. Or, in the case of Underland and Fort, have a uh, big skybox falling in issues. Problem with that, they ca those bugs came in um, in July. I'm just going to spectate this. Nero Deer joined the server. Interesting, uh, interesting theory there. Russian F is in. And of course, nobody could see that. Nice. I love that. That's going to be another thing that B-Hop doesn't know about this game. I can't see chat messages for whatever. Alright then. 
Three players. Three, two, one. We are starting Russian F versus a B hop. Russian tries to drop a nice little shot over there, but I'm not too sure how long he's going to last. Needs to get out of here. B hop. Certainly the better aimer out of the two. However, he is not the better player. As you can see, still waiting around for the belt to spawn at 30 seconds. Whilst Russian goes and takes the 100. So, unfortunately, my, predict my prediction for who's going to win this is B-Hop, based on retarded aim. He's going to play absolutely horribly and win by a landslide. Picking up the 150, with Russian basically on the same stack. Oh no, he legit would have thought it was up at 30 seconds. He would have probably forgotten it comes up at a minute and was thinking it came up at 30 seconds and completely forgot about the... Uh... Where is Russian? Russian was uh, picking up the 100 and the 50 and getting full stacked as well. Whilst having a lot more fun and, to be honest, could have picked up more vials. I'm not sure Russian knows where the belt is. Uh, he did say, oh shit, when this map was called. So, I would say he might not know. But yeah, b -Hop waited at the belt for 45 seconds. Hasn't taken a single 100 armor just yet. And is about to get his second kill, I would suggest. There it is. And b -Hop goes for that, waiting 17 seconds. The belt is up. b -Hop kills himself the lol comes out Russian appears to know where the belt is however playing a much calmer much more restrained much more professional game and this is the thing that mainly annoys me when I watch beginners cups B-Hop is a beginner because B-Hop by the original set of standards that we set is the most beginner player. Timing items doesn't do it. But he's still going to win this game. The original standards that we set of timing items and not being a spacker. Russian playing a very, very fast game. Timing that belt. I think B-Hop is only timing the belt. Has managed to pick it up just there by winning that uh, duel. By winning the aim duel. Let's see if he picks up any different weapons. See if he tries to go with the sniper because uh, he's the UK's number two AWP, you know. Picking up another kill. Yeah, that's what I've told him. He played Ponex. I made him play Ponex because he beat me and I rage quit on another map. And I basically just went, you're going to play Ponex because Ponex is going to out-aim you and everything else. Ponex is going to out-position you, out-aim you and ev everything on top of that. Like, I might be able to get a few kills. I might be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and lose. But... Yeah. Does seem to have some sort of timing because he has gone back there, but he is just going back for no reason whatsoever. He had Russian cornered off. He could have just used it as a bait. He could have played properly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Be the thing is he knows that his game is he's quake. He plays Unreal Tournament as if it's Quake. Look at the rocket aim he's using. He's just using rocket aim, then getting out of there with a sniper and using it as the combo. He needs to get out of this and go pick something up. 
100 is right up right now. So's the 50. There goes the 50. Get some health. Just manages to avoid that. Although, to be honest, Russian is on 85 ping. So your whole ping thing. B-hop. He has the timing on the belt. But instead of committing to the push forwards, because he knew Russian was there, instead of committing to the push forward, he goes back for the belt. And you're sort of looking at that, and you are going, this is a beginner player. This is beginner mistakes. This is what a beginner would do. Russian can't challenge for any of these items because he's just getting out-aimed. But the, the thing that annoys me most as a spectator is that it is purely getting out-aimed. It's not getting out-predicted. Uh, when I'm playing against people, I'm getting out-aimed quite a lot of the time, but I'm also getting out-predicted. They're doing half the damage to me through a cleverly placed rocket or shot combo around a corner that, where they know I might be. And that's the sort of difference between aim and prediction and just really good map knowledge. South Cypher said, uh, what do you think about getting old in these? Can you still do everything? He's like, yes, because 90% of the game, Quake, and it's even more so in this, isn't aim. Most of the game is prediction. It's knowing your opponent's going to be there before they're there so that you can put some grenades in that place, so you can put a rocket down there or a shot combo. Not much of it is pure aim duels. Of course, there are aim duels. There are, of course, aim duels. We've been seeing quite a few of them coming out here. And I think I'm just really going to take this time to talk about that difference. Because we see Russian. He can have the timing. He can have everything on the items. But he's not going to be able to turn up for them. Because that will happen. It's, uh... It's unfortunate. And I have seen quite a few people come across from Call of Duty. I, uh, one person I spoke to, they were asking for some help learning the game. And I went through and they went, oh, this is really difficult to learn. And then we worked out that actually it was an Insta Cup. It was an Insta Gibdal Cup. And they were like, oh, fine, I can just play Insta. I was like, what? Then we went into an ICCF. And they completely outpointed, outscored me. Their team lost. Which I slightly put down to the fact that despite them outscoring me, I massively outcalled the other <laughs> team. Because <laughs> that's basically all I'm good for. Haven't got aim, haven't got anything. I can time items and I can call positions. So CTF, I'm calling positions. Uh, timing items in TDM. Ooh, beautiful direct rocket there. you got to give the aim. Yeah, B-Hop's aim is really good. Because he's CS. He's just CS. Which is... Fl I posted a stupid meme thing in the chat the other day. Uh, I'm off to learn some flow charts. Because that's what, to me, that's how you play CS well. In this, there's no right way to do anything. There are wrong ways to do them. There is no right way. There's a lot of wrong ways. But in CS, this, your opponent has done this. Go down the flowchart. What is the most likely thing to, to do next? Ah, it's this thing. Cool. We're going to stack B. There you go. Done. They, there's your tactics. And it's that sort of, as well, it's that divide between the two, the playing and the tactics. There's the, you know, there's the divide there. There's, you buy your weapons and you do your tactics and that's where most of the tactics comes from. Whereas this, you're timing items, you're predicting where your opponent's going to be. And none of it's certain because there's no set spawns. They could spawn the other side of the map, they could spawn right next to you, and you've got to deal with whatever the hell happens. You've got to deal with all of that. And the way that B-Hop deals with it is... Boop, 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 boop.
be hop calling GG because there is no way that he's going to lose this. Well played though. It's a legitimate win as much as I don't like aim people playing these games because I suck at aiming. Fair enough to him. Did manage to take the win. Now, however, we are heading over to Leah, which I feel will be slightly more a map that Russian can pull off, as B Hop's never played it before. However, he has left the game. He's back. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. All aim, no brain. Yeah, you can play Leah decently enough without ever picking up the shock rifle or sniper. The other thing is he's never played it before. He's played the other... Uh, he's played a raise before three times, I think. So he knows where the items are. He knows how to get to them. Whereas... Uh, this is Russian's pick. This is Russian's pick. And he knows... The map. It should... I hope... Be a bit closer due to that. Well, it doesn't take too long to really know where things are. It's just where your opponent's likely to come out. Anyway, here we go. Wrap, wrap number two. Map number two between Russian F and B Hop FPS. Let's head over to Russian, pull up all the timings, and see what happens. It would be interesting to see what B-Hop did at the start of the game. Because, of course, pick up vials is very important. But Russian hasn't done too much of that. Is going to probably be able to pick up that first hundred here. Does. Gets out for free. Very nicely. And... I think Russian... Russian has the rockets, which is going to help. And he manages to get the first blood absolutely beautifully. There is 10 seconds until the belt, however. Uh, no, is he going to lose it due to... He could have got the 50. He manages to get a bit of health in. Picks up the armor. Uh, picks up the belt, sorry. B-Hop, very low health for both of them. Even lower for Russian. He's fully stacked except for health, which is pretty good. B-Hop has the 100 and 100 health to boot. So we'll see who is able to do what here with that. Russian picks up a bit more ammo. Realises that that 100 is gone and he's not going to be able to pick it up for a short while. Five seconds left to that. Hopefully he doesn't wait around too long. There you go. Take it. Get out of there. Be hop just around the corner. Let's put x-ray on and we'll be able to see a bit better. In this. Gets the rocket. Six seconds to belt. B hop timing it still on the minute. But he's right on there. Russian needs to get out of there without dying. Unfortunately, can't do that. And B-Hop takes the armor. Russian going down to a very well-placed rocket. Absolutely reactionary there, but Russian had no chance whatsoever. We shall see what is B-Hop going to be able to do with this. Because I'm not too sure if he's going to be able to get anything out of this. Hopefully, he, he might go down here. Russian quite low. B-Hop even lower than Russian. Getting in. Russian should be able to finish this off. He does manage to finish it off. Absolutely beautiful aim right there. 
probably like 50%. I don't know what. What are you hitting there on Link? That's not too bad. We saw him spamming at the start. We did see Russians spam quite a bit at the start with the Link gun. So 40% accuracy after spam hitting one, maybe. And then whatever that was. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's two all. With about four minutes, four and a half minutes left to go. Sorry, six and a half minutes. I, keep, I forget you. It's not count up, is it? You just read it. We're four and a half minutes in, right now. So we can see how well this goes. Russian slightly behind in health, but rest of their heavy armor. Sorry for that yawn. Using the wrong weapon there. B-Hop having a chance to get out of it, but a very nice use of that pad, accidental or not. 15 seconds to the belt. Both players getting there way too early, uh, obviously. That's one of the major... Rook one health left for Bur Russian. Why did he stay there? It was just too late for him to get. He spawns under the belt. He does manage to get the timing. Hopefully he'll move out of there. But as I was saying, one of the main mistakes for beginners in this game is to stick around for one. And I'm guilty of this, of course. I'm a beginner. I am very much guilty of this. Uh, and also, 10 seconds to cross the map seems reasonable. Not at all. Trying to get to the item before it and you always end up there. You know, it takes you, you think that it's a, a second is a very short amount of time. But when you're in the heat of a game, actually it went and took you four seconds to cross the map. And you give yourself ten. You're standing on an armour for six seconds. Your opponent comes in a bit late. Shot combo. Dead. Done. Don't matter. Don't matter if you picked up the belt. You're dead. <laughs> At a shot combo that close. Chances are. Nice little bit of damage there from B-Hop. And gets it in, but needs to pick up some health before he can do anything, really. Yeah. This is, as we say, the beginner's cup. Bab, if you could feed back to some of the players on a couple of the things... Uh, Peter's has already asked for his recording so that he could sort of see what we were saying about uh, about what he was doing, which is pretty good, I'd say. Of course, he's not going to be seeing much more than, uh, than a replay, but he's going to be able to see the sort of things that you talk about. And that can bring a lot of value, even... Yeah. Well, if you just notice things more in general... Uh, Russian, unfortunately, not getting the weapon there. Just manages to get away. Oh, no, he just gets caught in the end. Terrible spawn. Gets killed with the rocket launcher and B-Hop on very low health. Missing the health again, however... The other thing is, I don't think that B-Hop will care if one of us told him how to play the game. He needs somebody who is not insane. He needs someone who's not Pennsylvania or Ponex to beat him. Someone who doesn't out-aim him would be nice. The problem is, there is nobody at that level right now that I know of. There are no people who could beat him like that. As you can see, waiting around on 18 health when he could easily drop down and pick up the health. All items were up at the same time right there. B-Hop should have gone for the 100 to deny it from Russian. But he wanted that 150. Now let's see how Russian can do. He manages to go down. B-Hop, just perpetually low health, high armour. 
completely avoids the 100 armor, showing just how little timing he has. By the way, B-Hop, if you're watching this, this isn't meant to sound shitty on you as you kill yourself. That's just stupid. Like, Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? But, like, jeez. You are bad at this game. But you win. And that's annoying. So I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Eventually, when I get good at dueling, because I really suck at duels. Russian does manage to pick up the armor. Should have gone further in there, but thinking that B-Hop has more stack than he does, which he never does, grabs the 100. We'll see what he can do. That just didn't connect. B-Hop doing just enough damage to make it not worth Russian's time. The 50 and 25 both up if either of the guys wants to stack up a little bit. I'm rushing right now, needing a bit of health more than anything else. Unfortunately, going down to a bit of flak spam because he just couldn't find the health before the fight. Grabs that link. Needs to drop down even further and grab that 50. Right now, if he can drop down and grab that 50, he can take the kill. B-Hop goes down to a well-placed rocket from Russian because he was being an absolute tard. Russian should just get off and take the 100. He needs to get out of that fight. He could go down here. Doesn't. Manages to pick up the 150. Needs to get some health again. This is a key point that we're seeing with Russian. Managed to hit himself. B-Hop. Calling GG way before time is up. Which is just a really ungentlemanly move. You don't call GG on your opponent. The loser calls GG. When it's too late. The loser calls GG when they give up. Anyway, that is GG. Congratulations to B-Hop. For taking the match. So that is Russian with zero maps won and finished all of his games. Pizza on one and uh, B Hop on one map. Let's report them scores and see where that puts us. So, let's refresh this up. B Hop on two points, Pizza on two points, and Russian on zero. Russian already confirmed to be coming last because both players in this final, effectively, this is actually worked out quite well because this could end could have ended up being. The grand final. But yeah, going back to that whole conversation. Oaks does have shit aim and could beat him. Oaks beat me 25 to minus 1 without picking up any of the items. So he hasn't got that bad aim. He's got good prediction. Very good prediction. He knows where you're going to be. Not really it. Which is really a massive part of Unreal Tournament. So, is the old boy B-Hop going to be able to do anything? And is pizza here? Bro, sir. Where are you at? Where you at, boy? Majabroni? I'm just gonna go quickly advertise my video.
I'll drop a link in chat. Watch it after this because it's quite a long one this week, I think. Four minutes? What is it? Yeah, four minutes. I love Reddit when it's broken. Suggesting that I use a phone screen when I put it up on a, um, a f mobile version when I put it up on a screen that's too small. There we go. Still waiting on pizza. Not quite sure where he's at. But hopefully he will turn up shortly. Slightly annoying that he's not here. Slightly annoying. But what can you do, I guess? What can you yeah, do? God damn it. If he's not here in 10 minutes, I'm going to have to give the default win. Unfortunately. So, I'll start a public death match. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, good map. Yeah, Nick test good. Nick test is a pretty good map for death match. Horrible for anything else. Um, Insta gib duel and. Normal death match. It's good. There are better options. Even chill's better, and I hate chill. The match is starting. But fact is, chill is uh, horribly laggy for me. Three, two, one. And I would play Elimination, but Elimination versus bots is just no fun. Really? That guy drew first blood before I drew... F oh, Jesus Christ. B-Hop, if you're watching this, no, I'm not getting in voice chat. I'm second to novice bots. What am I doing with my life? Oh, I don't know this map at all. The bots have probably got perfect timing on the belt. Lol. They do like that right click, don't they? They don't particularly like that uh, primary fire. Killing spree. I've got five of them. Oh dear. Don't want to be here. Whoop. No armor wear on this one, by the way. Just plain bog standard weapon. Normal armor. 50% absorb. Terrible rates. Horrible. Honestly, it's not too bad. 
in most game modes. It, it really isn't good in deathmatch, in team deathmatch, sorry. But in duel it ain't too horrible. Like it doesn't change, I suppose it, it may annoy some people, but it doesn't change tactics at all. It doesn't change how I go into a map and how I play that map. It just changes sort of... I oh, picked it up. Just changes sort of... What is my opinion on the UT4 update cycle? Uh, one a month was perfectly slightly too much. But currently they're taking a break and I get that. Hopefully they'll come back shortly with fresh ideas and be able to do some cool stuff with the game again. But, I, I, you know, it's lacking. And the fact that it's broken on Linux kind of pisses me off as well. But that's basically it. It's a bit broken on Linux on a couple of maps. Uh, that is ready. Um, yeah, it's a bit broken on Linux on a couple of maps and could do with some other stuff. And a functioning replay editor and yeah, it isn't quite there for what they're sort of suggesting is possibly the final build as far as I know. It could do so it could do with some work for sure. There's a lot of a lot of work to be done and hopefully they will come back and be able to do it. Pizza, if he's not in by the end of this deathmatch, um Pizza will be disqualified. Not much I can really do about him not being here right now. Gonna give him a few. What is my aim right now? This is just disgusting. Are there things that seem easy to fix that need fixing? Uh, yes. Very much. The Linux bugs on certain maps. Um, it requires a recompile. And a couple of tags changed, I believe. Because, like, it worked on previous versions. It's literally just this version that it's broken on. So those maps could have been fixed if they'd spent two seconds in the map. They probably load it up just to check that it works. You know, it's just, an, it's a bit annoying that Linux doesn't get any love. Um, anything else that seems easy to fix that is broken? Um... I don't particularly like the map uh, designs. Not not this one. I actually quite like this one. Uh, but the map designs in terms of the textured maps. I don't like them. They are a bit ugly, in my opinion. You know, they don't fit the theme. This sort of doesn't fit the theme in terms of this sort of guy, right? And yeah, I know that was probably the worst thing I could have done in that situation, just go and stand next to a shot combo. But it really, I mean, this doesn't look good, but you can see the nozzle there, right? You can see the nozzle, you can see it, it's kind of cartoony, it's smoother textures sort of thing. That looks really nice. I like this. I like this sort of thing, this texture and that texture and the, you know, but then there's other textures that just ain't good, you know. Here we see where B-Hop can actually come into his own as a death, pure death matcher, pure fragger and that's it, that's all he's got behind him. What? What map fits him best and is the other one that maps should be based on visually? Um, take a look at ASDF. Take a look at the way ASDF looks. Clean. Very nice. D 
doesn't sort of, it fits in with itself, you know? Doesn't do anything too horrible. And yeah, that's the one I think that quite a lot of maps could be based off of. Also, the enforcer is dog shit. <laughs> As you could see, the guy was standing still. I was pretty much standing still. And, um, yeah. Fucking die already, man. Jesus Christ. I had the bot on me as well. That's the other thing. There. Sometimes you just randomly get a bot on you. As you can see, all aim, no substance. Still no sign of pizza with only a couple of minutes left until he's going to get a default for fast. It's the fact that it fits the everything to me, right? It's It looks good. Like, yeah, it doesn't fit the sort of classic... Leah is a decent map. I think Leah is a decent map, but I don't think they can do very many maps in that style. The hyper-realistic style. Because every other map they've tried doing in the hyper-realistic style has looked like AIDS. It's not been very nice to play on. Like AS... Uh, not ASDF. Um, Underland. Underland looks kind of nice. I like the look of Underland. But it just... It doesn't feel nice does it if you like it looks good but where does the sort of feel of a map come into the pl come into play you know asdf however to me personally could almost be a fully textured map right i get that it's got a lot of these sort of textures i don't like them sort of textures especially the brick ones uh, i don't think there's any on this map this is more wood but like the the sort of stone sort of gray stone one it looks good it's this sort of texture but it's sort of weird it's you know and i like it i think it should certainly be used more you know Rocket science. Oh shit, there's people with actual aim coming at me rather than just bots. And I can't actually get out of this. Ah oh, shit. I was trying to dodge off of it but I missed. And now I haven't got anything. He's got the belt. I haven't got anything for 30 seconds. As you can see, a complete aim player. Deathmatch is perfect. But I think that's one of the things in this game, right? You can have... One of the main sort of things is complete aim maps, you know? Oh well. The game is over. I have won the match. B-Hop has quit so that he doesn't lose the match. And yeah. Do 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 do. Best KD on... Riker was in the... In oh, no. Riker might have just been B-Hop's replacement. 66 points because that was all I killed against real people, I guess. Anyway, unfortunately, B-Hop gets a default win. Four, three, two, one. Message now or lose forever. P 
pizza to drop first. Yeah, he just... Like, honestly, I was ready to give it until you said that he went green. I was ready to give it to him. Honestly. Oop, that's the wrong one. Right. Oop, let me quickly take away all of the crosses and ticks I've got. I think pizza could actually be a challenge to B-Hop right now. Um, if you take a look at... Okay, Protracted is gone. Echo is gone. If you take a look at Pizza's playstyle, he's got good aim. Coma is gone. And he can time items. So I think it could be going to three maps, maybe. Dude. Oh shit, it's pick. What the fuck? Echo protracted pizza's pick. Okay, so ASDF is our first map. And then what is next? And of course, Erase comes out from B Hop. So we are playing. ASDF first, erase second. Pure Samp. Keep banning, boys. Coma, banned. We are left with Solo, Leah, and any. Okay, just Leah and any. Uh, Jory, I have done one previously and one, okay, any. So our last one is Leah. Okay, so we've played the first map. Like, we said these maps. Oh, yeah, I'm planning on hosting them. I was hosting them once a month. I did one last month. And I did one this month, but there's only three people turned up for this. So, I'm going to wait a few months. I'm going to do a bit of work on multiplayer tournaments, no beginner tournaments. And see if we can get some bigger tournaments going with everybody involved. Uh, as part of with Unreal Pugs. See if we can get some of that stuff done. If we can get that done, then we can bring it back in a few months for this. Specifically, Beginner's Cup. Uh, it does make me feel better. Yeah. Turn them for the other tournaments too. It's great. So that is... Uh, ASDF. Raise. Jello. No worries, Celia. It's fine. We got three people. We got three people, which is all we needed. And B Hop has made it a game. Where's my mouse gone? There it is. Boom! Oh, 
Let us see when people join. Pizza has entered the server. Both of these guys have basically had their favourite map be their opponent's least favourite map. So B-Hop hates ASDF, whereas Pizza loves it and picked it. However, he doesn't hate it as much as... Both of them don't hate them as much as other maps because they didn't ban them. So we can, of course, see no strategy coming out here as we start up for the finals. Whoever wins this... Takes the overall win. Let's head over to Pizza, put the X-ray on, and bring out the timings. Pizza managed to get all the vials, where B Hop only gets one or two. I haven't had alerts for hosts in ages, but thanks for the host. I did see it in chat. Uh, yeah, I haven't had alerts for anything in ages, in fact. Um, since I was on Windows. Because it doesn't, it uses as uh, B hop. Uh, sorry, pizza picks up the hundred and fifty from the fifty and the hundred. Yeah, it, uh, on Linux, it puts a white background permanently on your uh, on your browser, which is how you do it. The browser thing puts a white background, so I can't have an overlay with it because otherwise there would be a big white box, and the best place I'd put it would be at the top. Pizza taking first blood, which is absolutely great if we're going to s wanting to see from earlier the uh, destruction of a pure aim dueler. Pizza, if he manages to win this, is probably better than me. That's a sad Pepe. It is annoying, because I would like follower alerts, to be honest with you. And annoyingly, if you hide it... Um, I mean, I could have sound, but then I wouldn't be able to see it, and that's kind of stupid. It's like, ding, thanks for following whoever the hell that was. I don't know who you are. Getting pinned up in the air there, pizza. And just manages to get through, just manages to get away without taking too much damage there. Holding the angle. Gets a nice body shot off, needs to get out of there. He does not have the health and neither does B-Hop, but B-Hop had the aim to take it. 1-1. One, one. Grabbing those vials, getting a nice shot off. Pizza picking up the 150, that belt. B-Hop needs health, but he just shreds. And this is the thing. He has the aim, he does not have the health to be going in here is picking up fives when he could have picked up two twenty fives. Nice little shot. Couple good shots exchange here. B hot much lower health. One hit away, I believe. A sniper. Certainly a headshot. No, two snipes away, and there he goes. Pizza leveling up two two. Doesn't have the close range weaponry. Does have the link. But whether he's going to take that. He's 10 seconds too early. And he's given away his position. B-Hop gets the 25. And Pizza just needs to stand on there. In one second now. Good drop back down. Good drop very much there. Now will Pizza be able to capitalise on the extra armour and health he has? Unfortunately, no, because he's now got less. Doesn't manage to get off a couple of nice shots, though. Doubles back. Dodging off. Grabbing a bit of health and armour. B-Hop can't even see that. Grabbing without checking. At this time, it worked out. And as we can see here, this is something B-Hop does often. He just sits there. You can go in. Because if he... Right now, he's doing slightly better than the first time. With a nice headshot, by the way. The first time I saw him do it, where he had just a spawn. He had no extra... He had no armour. No weapons. 
think he might have had a rocket launcher. But that was it. And he just stood on the 150 for 50 seconds. Well, he would have lasted 50 seconds if he'd been able to survive that long. Pizza, with the better health and armor, gets a nice little shot off. And pulling B-Hop down to about 66 health. B-Hop currently one frag in the lead with five minutes left to go. But Pizza should be able to pull this back. Shouldn't be too difficult. 30 seconds left to the belt. And... B-Hop needs health, not armour. Two health. Does finally go pick up some health. Pizza now. Needing to get away. Oh, gets hit by a rocket. Gets hit by the spam rocket. Pretty much direct, I think that was. From the sound it made. B-Hop getting the fit, getting the 150, which puts him a very good amount in the lead right here. Slightly less health, but a lot more armor. Now he should be able to take this frag. He's just getting destroyed by Pizza with the better plays. But Pizza just unable to get any armor right now. B-Hop controlling the map very well. 100 is up. Pizza should be heading over to that. I'm not quite sure where he's going to go. Now B-Hop, without checking, of course, goes straight over. Pizza making a very clever move to not go down there, but probably will go down anyway. There we go. 4-2 to two to B-Hop. 5-2 to two to B-Hop because of a terrible spawn from Pizza. Should have backed off, but didn't. B-Hop knows where Pizza is. Tries to land a shot combo, but Pizza went the other way. 150's up. Grabs the belt. Pizza should not be there, but he is, and he gets taken out by stupidity. Is he going to be able to grab this 150? He d not the 150, sorry, the 100. He does grab the 100. Gets out of there without, the th without taking any damage. Tournament is going to be up on, uh, on YouTube, of course. Yep, Zillium. The tournament will be up on YouTube. So hello to everybody watching on YouTube. Now, will Pizza be able to pull this back? A four frag difference. At the moment with the frag gap it's unlikely. But with the health gap it's likely he gets at least one. However, if Pizza loses this map it's not looking good for him. Two direct rockets ain't going to help anything. And there's the finisher. B-Hop waiting exactly on the item for five seconds there. Of course, a beginner mistake. But one that really a much lower level beginner should be making. You know? And that's the sort of thing that we've been, uh, we've been discussing over the course of today's games. Specifically when B-Hop's been playing, we're discussing the newbie mistakes that people make. And I'm guilty of them too. I make stupid mistakes all the time. But these guys, they make mistakes. And some of them get away with it very easily. However, I usually don't get away with making stupid mistakes. Particularly because I don't have aim. I think that's a key thing for being stupid. You can play poorly, and if you've got aim, you can get away with a fair amount of it. Right there. Just a bit longer, he could have got it. Don't think he's going to be able to take this fight and win it. Pizza, if he can land a shock, he can kill him. There we go! Pizza! Gets a frag. He gets a frag. And it's now 3-9 to nine with a minute left. I don't think it's doable. But you never know. Pizza has the health. He doesn't have the weaponry. He's got the wrong weapon out right now. And he gets taken out. It's 3-10. to ten. Right now I think it's all over for Pizza. B-Hop is just going to run away. Pick up some of the weapons and armors. 
and see what he can do. But if pizza drops down here, he's going to be able to pick up that belt if he doesn't go down. He's going to be able to take out uh, uh, B-Hop with a beautiful display of aim. Manages to pick up the health, avoiding a couple of big uns right there. With 30 seconds left, B-Hop is calling GG and pizza ain't fucking done, it seems. It's just bad sportsmanship, isn't it? Calling GG on your opponent before the game is over. But that is GG. That is the first map. And we move over to a raise. The second map. With B-Hop taking that so uh, convincingly, I guess, we shall see if Pizza is able to pull anything back at all on B-Hop's pick of a raise. <sighs> it's currently like 10 to 8 where I am, so I'm very tired. All right, over to a raise, which pizza does have. Pizza does have a raise. I was going to say, pizza doesn't have a raise, and he's got to download it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That ain't going to be good. But we'll see what he's able to pull out. You really know we can put out the bag. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you ready? I would suggest pizza is not ready. Dude, you were complaining you were tired at like 6.45 yesterday. Your time. I think B-Hop's trying to make the rocket jump up there. Which Discord link has expired? Which one? one. Alright, we are off. And an instant couple of damage from pizza. Uh, I... Built a shelf and spent a load of time with my grandparents, mate. B-Hop draws first blood by taking out some nice frags. And we're coming up to the 30 second mark. These guys should be heading over to that 100. There it is. B-Hop probably confused because he just took damage by dodging. Ooh, that was a nice shred. And now we're going to see B-Hop walk around in a circle for 10 seconds. There we go. He picks it up and he goes off. 12 seconds of watching him stand around and walk in a circle. 
that's something you can get away with in beginners, I guess, and that's the problem. He's too good for beginners because aim. He's not good enough for anything else because he's stupid. He plays stupid. Pizza going in. Completely the wrong time. Might be able to take this, unfortunately, just off. Congratulations on streaming the whole 12 hours, by the way. And here we get to see uh, B Hop walk around for 10 seconds again. Except he's probably going to be punished. He does manage to get punished for that. Doesn't even get any damage. Mappy. Pizza didn't hear it, and B Hop picks up the hun uh, picks up the armor. Unfortunately, not punished as I would like. Not sufficiently punished. But we'll see what Pizza can do. He's managed to get one kill. But he hasn't quite got the movement on this map set in stone. Both trying to take aim duels. Pizza are a fairly good aimer. B Hop may be able to play. Just taking damage there from Pizza. Pizza taking an unfortunate amount of facial damage from his own rocket, which may be the deciding factor unless he can get one more rocket in. Oh, you would have almost done it. CPMA is not my Discord. Uh, I'm in it, but it's not my Discord. That was Warsaw Pickup on IRC. Because it's the only thing that actually pings me. Because <laughs> none of the others have atolls. Pizza nabbing himself. I'm going to stick on Pizza for a bit here. He's playing quite well. Nabbing himself with 150. Needs to pull out a rocket launcher for this sort of position. If you need the link, I'll grab it for you uh, after this. I grab for you in six minutes fourteen after this game. Uh, you can grab me on Discord, Twitter, um, yeah, at CC Cam. Send me a friend request, I guess, on that. Um, yeah, it's probably the best way. Twitch. B Hop grabs a frag without taking too much damage. And Pizza grabbing a few little vials. Hundred, uh, sorry, belt will be up in a minute. Uh, in half a minute. Damn, I'm just getting all my words muddled right now. Goes into the fight, is unable to take it. B Hop getting that close range shock aim down. Should have picked up the health. Pizza, not quite sure why he was going for those healths there. And now he should go. We should see a death. But I don't think we're going to. Not able to get away. Pizza just running in a straight direction. Really not helping him. B Hop grabbing a perfect aim. Uh, sorry, perfect timing into the belt room. Goes up, lands a nice rocket, lands two nice rockets. Finishing the job with shock. There we go, there's the one-two shock. Runs off, actually picks up some health. Gets in another nice little shock. Going to be standing around here for 30 seconds, I think. Not quite sure why. He could easily pick up the, f uh, pick up the 100 and then get over... To the belt, but instead he's just going to give the hundred to Pizza, who now has a better stack, especially if he comes through this way and manages to pick up anything healthy. Twelve seconds to the belt. I'd reckon B Hop's going to try and stay out of a fight until the belt comes, as we can see here. He's staying out of shot. Belt up. Grabs it. Moves over. 
around the back alley that most people forget exists, unfortunately. It's a good little way to get out of stuff. You will get shot comboed if somebody knows you're in there. But, again, since quite a lot of people forget about it, quite a lot of people forget that you can shoot through the bars and you can drop some rockets or some nades. Particularly useful when... Uh, when nades were a thing on the secondary rocket launcher. Or as the secondary rocket launcher. Pete's are doing some good dodging, gets caught on the wall and is unable to get out of there. Please tell me B-Hub's not going to wait around for 20 seconds. He's going to try and hop out. As we all know, however, a uh, Erase is a very spawn fraggy map. Oh, that was a very nice flak shot. Two seconds left. So basically, B-Hop has stuck around for 30 seconds in there. Right. <laughs> you know it's beginners when someone's winning 13 to 1 and sticks around for 30 seconds at an item. Good lord. Uh, 50's up, 100's up in about a second or two. B-Hop, probably not going to head over to it. Does realise it's up. Not quite sure what he was planning on doing there. Pizza, not going to be able to get in and get much damage done. Gets taken out by the shock rifle. And B-Hop, cocking up his movement quite a few times in a row here. But he is managing to pick up some health, which is something we haven't seen much from him. In this whole tournament. 116 on a raise here. Picking up the belt. Got decent timing on that. But Pizza will have heard it. Not that it'll mean too much this late in the game. One more belt left. And two or three more. Uh hundreds 50's up we're now at a point where B-Hop doesn't have to worry about ammo conservation it's quite a weird point in this game because quite often the ammo conservation actually does work the way that sort of ammo works you do have to think about it quite a bit not quite sure why you did that you can wall run quite easily over there you can very easily just wall run it with no problem. He's waiting. He's going to be there for 11 seconds. But Pizza has just got no chance of getting in. Because there is still a good stack difference. Pizza definitely grabbing everything. This is four times in four games that B-Hop has called GG on the losing opponent. Just gets further and further from the end of the game each time. I think that's definitely as he gets used to the movement and gets used to the game more than anything. See if Pizza can get any damage off. He's only got 20 health left. He's probably not going to be able to do anything. Five seconds and an entire map to cross. It ain't going to happen for either of them. GG. Pizza kills himself in the last second. B-Hop goes 20 to 0. Yeah, B-Hop's a bit of an ass. Pizza leaves the game. And it's GG over there. So... Let's pop that into the pipe and smoke it. A bee hop. And then end the tournament. We can actually end it this time. Bee hop followed by pizza followed by Russian. B-Hop for winning.
Well, that was some good games, actually. That was legitimately some good games. By the way, I was right, it was uh, Warsaw. <laughs> It was indeed Warsaw. Yeah. GG's for everybody. Um, I am going to get off for the night. I've been streaming for a while. It's been... It's been pretty good. This will be going up on YouTube if you do want to watch it right now. However, it will be up on Twitch. Go into the videos and it will be there. It will be up on YouTube Wednesday. So that will be where it's forever. Whereas it will only last two weeks on Twitch. Same quality and everything. And it will be good. So hit the follow button if you haven't hit follow already. Play games. Thanks for checking this out, and I will see you next week. Pshh.